You're a little hangry right now? <laughs> yes. Can you, I, I'm hoping you can give us a weather forecast so we know if it's going to rain as we go get tacos I will, and minutes. I promise I'll try to be pleasant. Giving <laughs> <laughs> the forecast. Very hungry. It's that time of the day, <laughs> it for is. sure. Yeah, and it's that time of the day we're also seeing the pop-up showers yeah. and thunderstorms. Yeah. We saw one over downtown Birmingham, but right now we are dry. It is warm, though. 90 degrees. We did get a little cooler thanks to the rain, but still a pretty toasty afternoon when you factor in the humidity as well. Almost crystal clear skies in Gadsden right now. So if you're north of I-20, you likely didn't see any rain this afternoon. But just wait, your chance will be coming by the time we hit tomorrow. So right now, temperatures are very warm in Tuscaloosa, spared from the rain so far. 95 degrees, 93 in Jasper, and 90 in Birmingham. But check out the feels like temperature. 103 is what it feels like right now in Tuscaloosa. 102 in Fayette, 103 in Gadsden. So everyone feeling the heat. But down to our south, we had widespread showers and thunderstorms, which helped cool things down just a bit. Uh, right now, the sun thunderstorms are tracking off towards the west. So we have one thunderstorm tracking towards Phipps. We also have this one tracking towards Calera. We'll arrive in Montevallo within about 10 minutes and Oakley within 20 minutes. A lot of the action, though, was down towards Montgomery and even along the Gulf Coast. We have this upper level area of low pressure that's going to slowly start to work off to the west, and that's going to be our big rainmaker over in the next several days. Also, want to zoom out, a lot of people feel Feeling the heat all across the nation, record breaking heat from Chicago down through St. Louis and all the way towards us. This is all thanks to this heat ridge or area of high pressure, and this is what is going to funnel the area of low pressure down to our south, that rainmaker. That's going to push it off to the west. So that's why we're seeing those showers and thunderstorms move from east to west. A little unusual, and that's the reason why. So that's your little science fact for the day. Showers and thunderstorms. Jack's laughing at me. I guess he likes to learn about science. Showers and thunderstorms come to an end overnight tonight. We could see a few lingering thunderstorms, but nothing severe expected. Clearing out just in time for the start of your Sunday, but it's not going to last long. Could see a few isolated storms possible early Sunday, but I really think we stay dry until we hit the afternoon where we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms start to pop up once again. More widespread in coverage, though. So while the storms were south of I-20, today. Everyone has a chance of seeing the showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Going to be hot where you don't see the rain. Temperatures will be right around the low 90s. Fourth of July looking like we're going to be dodging some showers. About a 50-50 shot of seeing the rain so far, but we are still a few days out, so we'll keep an eye on it. Best chance of rain will be Monday. That'll keep our temperatures in the upper 80s, so slight cool down for the beginning of the week, Jack.